If you are a person who travels inbound or outbound of the country frequently, carrying multiple devices can be a hassle. Xander offers a single highly adaptable tool to solve it. Meet the Xander Passport 3, a 65 watt gun travel adapter with 5 USB ports. GUN stands for gallium nitride, a material used in semiconductor where it produces less heat at higher power draw. This in return gives you better efficiency rate when converting AC to DC. This will give you faster charging rates or higher power delivery. Now another benefit of GUN is you, a typical charger can be compact in size. The exterior build is plastic. It comes in three colors, blue, iron, purple with the side see-through housing, reminiscent of the classic see-through Game Boy console or the 1998's translucent iMac. Now looking at the top view right here, the plastic surface can be prone to metal prong scratches over time due to its semi-glossy finish surface right here. Now looking at the left view right here, this is where you can slide out the necessary prongs to use them. You have to press and push it. It's very smooth and it clicks into position well. One thing to note, it also comes color-coded with the bottom being darker, progressively come lighter to the top. Now looking at the bottom right here, when I put out the prongs, it is very solid feel. It feels uh, less shaky shaky bits, no shaky shaky bits. It feels firm and solid. Typical for a premium product like Zendir. Now looking at these prongs right here, I'll come a little bit closer. You can actually bend them inwards or outwards to match the country port that you're using in. So it's very adaptable for this last port right here. Again, let's jump back to the main juice of this charger right here on the right side. This is where you see the main gun charger unit capable of 65 watt power delivery output good to power devices like your Apple Silicon MacBooks like the M1s and hopefully the future M2s and M3s that come in the way way future or any USB 4, Thunderbolt 3 or Thunderbolt 4 Windows based devices. However, this port right here drops to 45 watts when either one or more of the front ports right here is used. So these four bottom ports right here will share 15 watts among them. Good to charge smaller devices like photography, videography, uh, batteries, devices, smartphone, and other low-powered USB device. Here is a quick summary of each port's voltage, amperage, and wattage. Also, you can see the Passport 3 branding right here on the slider bit. The outlet here supports 1000 watts at 100 volts or 2,500 watts at 250 volts with a maximum of 10 amps. In the event you may draw more power from the wall than the rated output, there's an intelligent auto-resetting fuse that cuts off the power when the bimetallic thermal sensor goes beyond 120 degrees Celsius. It will reset once it cools down. Now the component right here is located on top right here far away from the main PCB, so there's no way of short-circuiting or melting it. Wise choice. Reminds me how a classic rice cooker works in the same way. But Zender also have other protections as follows. I am not an avid traveler, so here is a diagram of ports and outlets supported over 200 countries globally. So I have the Zender connected to my M1 Pro. What we can do is check the system report, go under power, scroll it down, we can see that it does take 65 watts charging. It's pulling around 70 watts from the wall. All right, it's showing that it takes two hours and 13 minutes till it's fully charged from the 20% to 100%. All right, to activate the 45 watt side right here, what I need to do is attach a single device, which is just a type C right here. My phone, just change the function back to this right here. All right. So it's connected to my phone. Now we go to the system report. It should show us that it is going to be 45 watts. And yep, in the system report right here, it shows 45 watts. So at 45 watts charging, definitely it did increase the charging time by 20 minutes average. So let me give you a summary of the Zender Passport 3. This is the best travel adapter with five port USB with 65 watt gun technology. Amazing. Now, I wish to see a 100 or 120 watts version of this. I understand it may be longer or thicker, but I wouldn't mind because most modern USB 4, Thunderbolt 4, or even my M1 MacBook right beside me right here 
can readily accept higher charging speeds beyond the 65 watt limitation. So, you know, Zender, please make it come true. Now, aside from that, the design language, I like the sides, but the front here, I wish it was matte finish. That is my personal preference, but I see a lot of people are welcoming this type of um, glossy uh, texture, glossy rainbow finish, I guess, or shiny finish. So maybe I'm old school, it's fine with the design language. But what I want to say here is the Passport tree is a essential everyday carry travel worthy for multi-device users or even for people who's like a MacBook user, notebook, production, product, productivity type of content creators like me who wants to charge not only their MacBook but multiple devices like their smartphone, drones and camera batteries can consider this during their travels. So thank you for watching this video. Like, subscribe, comment below what do you think about these babies right here. And let me know what Zender products I should review next. Till then, I'll see you guys in the next review. Remember to subscribe. See you guys. Yeah.